Good morning from Chiang Saen. The city is uh, primarily known for Golden Triangle nearby here. I will talk about this later. We are sitting now by the river, by the Mekong River, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have some breakfast. On the other side of the river is already Laos. We have three sandwiches from our favorite uh, shop 7 Eleven. Yep, yep. The best breakfast place in Thailand. Uh, a part of that, Julian got some eggs. Mm -hmm. And I got some. Um, Yogurt. We're starting with Western egg sandwich. That's not Thailand egg sandwich. What do you say? Okay. I didn't get to buy again. You have the best part. No, I know. I took so it. So much ketchup on his. Mine is empty. That is good. Tastes a bit like pizza. Mm -hmm. They put the same seasoning. And the same uh, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. It's not ketchup, it's tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. so. Very equal share. <laughs> so. Next one we're trying uh, tortilla teriyaki, uh, chicken, but I'm a loser on this one. Mmm. <laughs> ah, damn, that's so good. 8 out of 10. Oh, oh wow. no, wait. 7 out of 5. 8 out of 5. Mmm. <laughs> this is garlic butter and chicken. I don't like granulated garlic and stuff like this, dry garlic. I never you liked don't like it. like it? Not really. It, 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 it's garlicky. But they use these granules, you know, this, and I never like that. I only like like fresh garlic. No, I like it. You know, or just garlic, pure it's garlic. It's okay, baby. You can leave it. I will. I will mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> And together with the eggs, you have. Um, they give you the small sachet of soy sauce. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But uh, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> we bought this little box for like 19 baht. Um, <laughs> pink Himalayan salt, <laughs> pure gold. I'm telling you. Mm. <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> whenever, like it. whenever she hesitates, she's like, hmm. she <laughs> doesn't like true. it. She no. doesn't like it. No. If I like you like it, the taste no. surprised no. me. No. If you like it, your only reaction is like, hmm. But if it's like, you know what? Uh, yeah, you don't like it. No, the taste surprised me. Yes, in a bad way. No, it's actually tasty. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Today we are walking around line. the city. On the red line? No. <laughs> around the city in search for bicycles. It's not that easy because we found one place with very dusty but still bicycles we couldn't find the owner the one lady told us it's closed for for the weekend so they are there displayed but you can't rent them there is nothing on google maps so the only thing what's left is to just walk around the city which is not that big anyway if not we're gonna take the tuk-tuk to golden triangle it's nice and pleasant to walk here anyway so Oh. And you have ancient ruins all over the city. After long search, we finally find bicycle, and it was just next to our hotel, basically. The place is called Fat Free. It, it shows it's a bike shop, but they also do the renting. And we rented two bicycles. It's 100 per day per bicycle, and they are really nice, good condition. We search all city. And the place is just next door to our hotel. It's uh, it's unbelievable. We actually went to the other hotel because the lady in our hotel she doesn't speak English, so we couldn't ask her. Uh, so we went to like more expensive hotel where it was more probable that they're gonna uh, speak English. And we asked the lady, and she she directed us here. Julian just locked our bikes in the hotel. It's a beautiful view. We are just on the side. Road very quiet, except this construction. Okay. There's not much happening here. I'm happy with this day. We got awesome lunch, we got awesome breakfast. The most important thing, which is watermelon. <laughs> we got bikes. We got bikes. We've yeah. seen a bit of the city. We're gonna go to Golden Triangle tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Successful day. For our lunch, we are watching The Hobbit. And we are having, Magda is having some skewers. The satay and here's some chicken breast all grilled. Uh, frozen water frozen, <laughs> frozen watermelon. We put the fridge on too high setup and yeah, it was on, freezing stuff. On maximum and I got some chicken drumsticks. Right. 
fried chicken drumsticks and um, hot sauce. We are in search for some dinner and I decided I'm gonna show you a bit of the food scenery in Chiang San. In Chiang San. There is lots of local places like this one here where you can eat local food. Here you have a boat restaurant, very fancy, very nice with a nice view, but only European food here. You have lots of food carts throughout the city with local food as well. You can order from there and then sit next to the river and eat with beautiful view over Laos. This is the main place to eat in Chiang San. So you have this food cart and then you have seats with the mats, like low table with mats, or you can sit on the low chair. And there is many stores along the river. The one minus is that they are mainly selling the same stuff. So basically it's some grilled meat, grilled fish and hot pot. And the hot pot looks good actually, it's in this kind of ceramic pot. And here is another night market. Not that popular like the one by the river. And this is actually all day market. So in the morning, you can also come here to buy some veggies, some street food basically. From here, you can take the bus back to Chiang Rai. And here is the timetable. So the first one, first bus going at six in the morning and the last one at 1.30. more things here as well and eggs eggs with chive we're gonna get some skewers you can have some beans green beans mushrooms okra aubergine surimi some sausage different types of meat so you get your number you have yours 77 76 uh -huh. Oh. Well, we went to the shop for a second. We're coming out and there are things flying around and uh, it's so windy now. I think a storm is coming. morning from the Mekong River. It's so beautiful. Julian went to buy some breakfast and after that we're going to Golden Triangle. We are on our way towards the Golden Triangle and we found this path alongside the river which is so beautiful and there is no cars, there is no pedestrian. If we followed Google Maps we were supposed to take the highway which is about 50 meters to the left so we checked the maps and we found this way and we checked it out and it's completely empty. We can bike here. We found pineapple growing just by the highway our path just ended we're gonna go up here to the highway we just seen Magda's favorite uh, fruit favorite yes so this is pomelo if you can see it Pomelo is like grapefruit, but better. Yes, less sour than grapefruit. Less sour and less bitter. Yeah. We just got to Golden Triangle, which is about 10 kilometers from Chiang San, in the town called Ban Sop Ruak. The Golden Triangle is a scenic corner where Mekong and Ruak River come together, forming a natural border between three countries. Thailand, Laos and Myanmar. We are now in Thailand. On the right side you have Laos and on the left side Myanmar. We're gonna take a boat trip now. It costs uh, 500 bahts uh, for two people. 
and it takes about 30 minutes. We're gonna go closer to the land of Laos and Myanmar. Thank you, Kakonka. We need to wear a life jacket. Before, during this trip, he was able to um, get on the land of Laos to the special uh, economical zone. You could buy some products, try some Laotan food, but unfortunately now, with the closure of... Um, oh my God, it's tight. With the closure of borders due to COVID, uh, it's not possible anymore. Here is our boat. Let's do it. Oh, oh so nice. Hey, babe. COVID, they, they closed it. Uh, we just stopped for lunch. Julian got some eggs and fried pork. How is it? Awesome. You like it? And some chili sauce, yeah? Mm -hmm. Spicy? No, no, no. Very nice. And I got, I didn't try it yet, but I got um, Chinese broccoli with fried pork as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mine is a bit spicy. Golden Triangle is not only a charming corner with a beautiful view, impressive statues and unique temples. The area is also a former worldwide infamous drug trading zone, specializing in opium. The opium is produced from a poppy plant, Papaver somniferum, also known as the opium poppy. Fully matured poppy pods are cut in several places and latex sips from it. Overnight, the substance becomes darker, narcotic and slightly sticky. Raw opium is then mixed with water, boiled and filtered out. The process is repeated until the water evaporates and opium turns into a thicker substance. Once cooled down, opium is ready to be sold. The earliest reference to opium comes from 3400 years BC from Mesopotamia. Sumerians passed it to Assyrians and then to Egyptians. The cultivation spread along the Silk Road to China. The history of opium in the Golden Triangle goes back to Chinese immigrants, for whom opium was part of the culture and was widely used, especially amongst the elderly, as a natural stimulant and pain relief. From the 19th century, opium became popular and widely used all over the world, especially in opium houses, also known as opium dens. Dens were well equipped with pipes and lamps necessary to smoke opium. 
Smokers usually used to lay down in the heel against buttock position, supposedly the best for smoking opium. All classes of society used opium dance. The only difference was that those for the higher class were nicer looking. With time, opium in pure form has been turned into opioids, stronger and more effective, like morphine. The most dangerous derivative of opium is heroin, which is one of the most addictive and destructive drugs in the world. Two places to learn more about opium in the Golden Triangle are the Hall of Opium and the House of Opium. Come on. Oh, wow, that's, that's so big. <laughs> it looks good. So we ordered some uh, grilled fish, tilapia, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. and uh, stir fry veggies and uh, fried chicken. The way they made the fish is they coated it in salt and they put inside lemongrass and they grilled it. Here you can see uh, it's grilled lemongrass and it's so delicious, it's very soft and very juicy, amazing.